Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I am with a subscriber and a buddy that I met through the real estate crash course, and or not the crash course, the master class. Yes. He wants to buy a house, and we found out really quick because I was able to uh, actually coach him in person and another student out here in Reno, Nevada, and we are finding out fast, rapidly, that home sellers are lying to you. Now, as we walk out on this uh, pad, we'll find a good spot. The wind's in our face, sorry. Um, this pad has been untouched, Chris, for the eight weeks that you and I came out here to check out this site. You wanna give them a little backstory of what's going on out here? Yeah, there's actually this pad and some others as we went through the, the motions of looking at which model homes we liked, you know, what configuration they were, and we had several choices of yep. lots, and we were basically told that there were lots that needed to be sold before they could move on. Yeah, but at first they told you that uh, the lots are sort of going fast. They wanted oh, to put a, a deposit down. They did. They initially yep. wanted a deposit because they were not having any inventory issues. Yep. And we elected not to put a deposit down, but we had kind of a handshake deal with the gentleman that said, hey, if somebody else is going to look at your lot, we'll let you know and give you first right of refusal for that. And that was a good eight weeks ago, yep. and I have not received a call from him yet. Totally, and as you notice, this lot, this home site has been, it, they finished the concrete, the slab, not any work is being done on it. When we were out here last time, there's some crews working on some framing behind us, but they're only working on two homes really at a time out here. Things have slowed down very dramatically and the home sellers are doing all kinds of little tricks to, to deceive people like Chris to get them to buy right now. So let's talk about a couple of the lies. So one of the lies was not at this development, but one right down the road, where they said they had all these sold signs, right? There, and there, there wasn't a, they all were sold. That's right. And then what happened miraculously a couple weeks later? Uh, it wasn't even a couple weeks that on that trip, yep. it was a couple days that I received an email that said, hey, we've had some drop out. Some, so, not even just one. It was like three or four, right? Four. So, so think about this. You got home sellers that are almost acting like a Rolex dealer where you walk into a Rolex shop and they go, we have nothing for sale. And they, they get that feeling inside of you. But we'll get you, let's get your phone number just in case. And then a day or so later, ooh, four of them miraculously opened up. And what I found very interesting is they ask you, what, what plan suit your needs the most yep. which which plan do you guys like the best well there were two out of the four yeah. that we happen to like and there was one of each yep well two of yeah there was three of the same plans that we liked and one other one yep so there were three homes that they said hey these had fallen out and they're available why don't you come back and see us? Totally. So now there's another thing. We're going to go for a walk because we're going to take you down this street of, of lots that are not being developed. And then we're going to talk about something down at the end of this road that's really important. But there was another sort of deception they did with, uh, with you. When I was with you, they said that you had to use uh, their lender, right? And they were going to buy down the rate. So let's talk about that. What, yeah. what happened when, uh, when all of a sudden uh, you know, the ninja shows up? <laughs> what, what happened to that conversation? Well, it... It didn't go as far as I thought it would go when you start being able to, you know, you speak in their language mm -hmm. and understand what they're saying. Uh, the first thing that the gentleman said was, oh, sounds like you've done this before or you're very familiar with the with the system. Yeah, you're in the industry. You're in the industry. Yeah. Exactly. And which really changed, really changed the tone of the conversation. Totally. To be did. honest. Um, yeah, there wasn't as much of that selling going on yep. as much as him trying to answer our questions. Yep. Now, one thing he said was that he was willing to give you $25,000 uh, to go towards the buy down of your interest rate. Right. And we already know that the home sellers are not going to drop their price because they don't want to be sued by the people that have already purchased homes, right? And not only that, even if they were not going to get sued by them, they can't build the next track unless uh, it seems like the price is going up because people freak out and they think all of a sudden, hey, if the price is going down, why would I buy? They need to cause that sense of urgency. Well, he said, that you could only get the 25 grand if you use their approved lenders, right? That is correct. Okay, and then the ninja said, okay, well, we've already got a lender, already lined up, already ready to rock and roll, and we have no problem checking that other lender, right, to see right. if, get multiple quotes. But I said, hey, why don't we just take that 
25 grand, rather than you, the home seller, lose a deal, why don't you just put that towards your uh, upgrades? Correct. All right. And how did that go over? Uh, actually, it, it was a little bit of talking, uh, but ultimately, they even said, we do not want to lose this home over something like that. We want totally. you to have the home that you desire, so we're not going to make that uh, an obstacle that needs to be overcome. So yes, if you bring in your own lender, then we will allow you to place that $25,000 into upgrades. Yep. Now, everyone, just so you know, I've been talking about this housing correction for two and a half, three years, getting everyone ready for it. It takes a while to see these cycles. And Chris does know that the housing market is tanking and he sees it everywhere. But you still need to live somewhere, right? Where you got family, you yep. run a successful business and you're renting right now. And you're like, I don't want to deal with rent increases. Right. So you were looking at getting a house and, and, and he was being smart about it, not putting all of his money down, he wants to save some for rental properties, Absolutely. Gets cash flow going. And so we noticed a couple of things. So the first meeting, there were some people that were coming in and, 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 and talking to the sales agent. After the second meeting that you saw him at, and the, the salesman knew that you were with me, you knew what you were doing, you were here to negotiate, he didn't want you uh, talking in front of any other potential buyers. No, he did not. How'd I mean, that go? Well, it was kind of funny. I was just continuing on the conversations that you had started with him and uh -huh. that we had started together. And then when I went back on my own with my wife and we started to revisit those issues or those topics, some another family came in and he just said, hey, can you just hold on a minute and let me get them out the door? And actually said, well, they don't need to hear everything we're gonna talk about. Exactly, because you were saving money and they weren't. Real quick, before we show you this picture of what's right in front of us, I wanna tell you, I've only offered this once. This was a beta test with Chris and a handful of other people that wanna buy homes or rentals right now, or they're preparing for this downturn and they wanna be uh, have, see their money go even farther. I've only offered this once. I'm gonna uh, offer to the public the Real Estate Masterclass, which is all the classes in real estate that I've ever put out and all the ones in the future, including six monthly uh, live group coaching calls. Because I've already seen, Chris, you, you said, and this is you, if you would have, after the initial, what, three rounds of negotiations, how much were you set up to save on one of these? And he's not gonna buy one of these, it looks like, because no. there's some insane deals popping up right now. Yeah, the deals. But how much were you gonna save? Uh, I, had it, I had it calculated that we would be right around 55,000. That that's epic. And, 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 my, it, and that was with hardly any work. Exactly. Um, but just being confident and knowing how to communicate what yeah. you want and what you want out of the home. Well, and you said it yourself before um, when we were having a couple uh, beers one night. You said it, it's so different when all of a sudden you have the confidence because you know the lingo and you know that this is sort of normal to ask these specific questions that lead to saving tens of thousands of dollars. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so so now, Chris, why don't you explain what we're seeing here, and I'll turn the camera around so everybody can see it. So what is this that I'm looking at? So right, what we're looking at now is basically this builder's next phase. Yep. And they cannot start this phase until they have the homes in the first phase sold. That's right. And so they were really pushing to make us happy. Yep. That was part of it. But they also were showing us homes and telling us that, hey, we don't have an inventory problem. We have, they sell them as soon as we get them ready. And interestingly enough, those same four lots that we were looking at with them, they're all still here. They have not moved as far as, you know, progression on the, on the lot. Yep. Uh, so, so that inventory issue is really not true. Now, another problem, this builder, now this builder is really cool, actually. I really, I got it, my hands off to the gentleman, the salesman, very straightforward, especially when he knows that you're in, and yep. this is, goes for every, actually, we ran into a couple of salespeople that had <laughs> no concept of what was really going on in life, but um, they're not putting the fake sold signs here, right? But what you're seeing now, headwinds that they're finding is the first phase is they're probably, I think, in third phase. Now, this is fourth behind us. They are already now fighting because they didn't have the first phase sign a contract stating they weren't going to flip those homes. They're now already flipping those homes. But you saw one of these homes. Tell a little bit backstory about it, because uh, they had a real they put like a quarter of a million dollars in upgrades. They did talk about that. So the home, one of the homes in the neighborhood 
uh, had been purchased in 2022, so it was probably in their first phase, uh, and it's now being, it's back on the market as a, um, a sale, a, a, resale, a yeah. resale. They lived in it for a little bit. They lived in it for a bit. It's back on the market. And, you know, if you look on Realtor.com or Zillow, you can see what they purchased that home for yep. and what they're purchasing it, you know, what they're selling it for now. And the house just went pending uh, for $36,000 less than what they paid for. That's it. insane. That is insane. So now not only do you have pain from buyers in the first phase, but you've got pain from the sales office trying to get enough of the, uh, phase three sold so that they can move on phase four. I mean, you think about it, look at this. It's graded and sitting. And that's really scary for home builders. Now, one last thing I wanna say before we close is, um, you know, that house he was talking about, quarter of a million dollars in upgrades. Yep. And I teach this, it, you the less is more in this, yeah. right? You're gonna save a lot more money if you go through Lowe's and Home Depot, wear out the carpet right away, right? Yep. We've already seen a couple other uh, sellers uh, to mark down homes drastically, Yeah. right? And one of the things that I did find that they do here though, is they build in a fair amount of of options yeah. that are already built into the home. So you're kind of stuck with those, totally. right? Yep. Um, so I asked about different things, what could be removed? Yeah. Because when I, when I went through the, I guess the design process on my own, they gave me the price structures and all that. We were looking at about $40,000 worth of upgrades. Yep with the anticipation of doing exactly what we had talked about, which was upgrade that carpet, upgrade the appliance, whatever you wanna do as this cycle continues to move downward. And you'd end up with a home like that with 245,000, you'd probably end up spending less than 100. Yep. Well, hey guys, we're gonna go film another video because there's so much changing in the market, it's insane. And to say that Chris has decided not to go with a new home is an understatement because now we're seeing the uh, the used homes, the secondary market starting to dump. People are figuring this out. Uh, if you wanna check out the Real Estate Masterclass, I'll tell you what, I to say that you will say, well, you can say it. <laughs> yeah, you you it will, yeah, you <laughs> will. And I, I we looked at a home on the secondary market. We actually did go to put in yeah. a full price offer. Yep. Um, and even with that, with what we had worked into that deal, uh, would have paid for the course three times over. Exactly. And it was a simple one concession, two concessions on the buyer. Yeah. And that would have paid for the course two to three times over, and that was a very simple one. Yeah, I'm not here to uh, rip people off. I want you to have some skin in the game, learn this game, and save tens of thousands of dollars. End of story. Hope you got something out of this. Check out the link if you want. The Economic Ninja and Chris are out.